hello guys welcome back so as we have already completed our first four challenges let's take up our final challenge now which is automate your business process so all these challenges will be available in our playlist so do check that and once if you click on launch let's go to our setup so here in quick find let's enter queues click on queues and for queue label let's go back to our challenge by clicking on new select this label copy this and paste it over here and queue name is auto populated let's deselect send email to members so this has been already deselected so once if it is done scroll down and select this case and click on add now let's add more queue members let's search user So in search keep users and choose our Fumico click on add so we just need to add one more user over here so for that let's go to our quick find search for user select user So here you will find this user called Aaron Adzler. Just click edit. So keep it as active. Click on active checkbox and click on save. And come back to our queues and click on refresh. Let's give our label again. which is billing support agent so copy this and paste it over here q name is auto populated so here let's choose case click on add scroll down so let's so still one more user is not shown over here so still it is not an active so which means our license limit got exceeded so let's click edit on one more user whomever is active let's deactivate this user click on ok click on save now let's come back to our arsene click on edit make this profile active now click on save and let's make sure now whether it got activated so it is still showing license limit exceeded let's go to user so i have made changes to another user as aaron adzler so now we will get this name in queue let's refresh once again so once if you fill all these details you will find both of this username so click on add and once it is done scroll down and click on save and now from quick find search for case assignment rules click on case assignment rule now click standard followed by edit so make sure that we have selected this active checkbox now click on save 
so in rule entries let's click on new let's complete the step when order short q value as 2 and criteria are met for this step 2 so for first row we are going to choose case status operator as equals and for value click on this lookup icon select new and select insert and for second row choose case case record type so this is right over here followed by equals click on this lookup icon choose billing now click on insert selected now step 3 we are going to choose Q from this list click on lookup now select this billing support agents now click on save and let's go to our app launcher now click on service now click cases tab click new select billing so once it is done click on next let's go to our challenge scroll down and copy this account name give it over here and choose it from the suggestion so once it is done choose any product from drop down and type as electronic case origin as phone let's scroll down choose this assign using active assignment rule checkbox and let's go to our subject copy the subject and paste it over here and it is same for description also copy this description and paste it over here so once it is done click on save now let's create escalation rules let's go to our setup click on setup so here in quick find enter escalation rule so select it now click on new so choose rule name as support click on save So we just need to make this active. Let's click on this rename. So click on this active checkbox followed by save. So once it is done click on the support. Under rule entries click on new. For short order give it as one for step 2 criteria are met for field case case reason followed by operator as equals and click on this lookup here we are going to choose performance choose it and click on insert selected so once it is done click on save now click new under escalation actions so 
so for age over give value as 1 in notify this user section select this lookup and here search for your name click on go and choose this then for notification template click on this lookup search for your name So yeah, uh, so here for this section we are going to choose support, click on go. So here you will find support escalated case notification. So click on that. So once it is done click on save. So for user choose your name for notification template choose anything that you want so here I am choosing escalated case notification once it is done click on save now let's go back to our app launcher select service app so here choose case tab click on new select product support over here click on next so for contact name it's your name and for account name give it as edge communication for product choose anything for type I am just going to choose electronic for case origin let's choose email for case reason let's give performance and let's scroll down and select this assign using active assignment rule let's copy subject from our challenge paste it over here and for description let's copy this and paste it over here so once it is done click on save so now copy this case number let's go back to our setup and search for case escalation click on that so here choose case to escalate equals and paste your case number which you have just copied and click on search so if you get this result we are done with this challenge let's go back and check our challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge as well see you all on next video until then bye bye